Season four of Sex Education came out yesterday on Netflix. I really enjoyed the first three seasons, so of course I was going to check out season four, the final season. And overall, it's a good season, a solid season, but it left me wanting just a little bit. The thing that remains the strongest aspect of this show is how mature they are in exploring the themes that they explore. And the funny thing is, it's called Sex Education, and it's definitely explored a lot of things about sex and relationships, and that stuff is definitely in season four, absolutely it is. But there's a lot of themes and grounds that they cover in season four that doesn't really have that much to do with sex and relationships. If you wanted to, you could call season four life education. And as usual, the show's insights and advice that they offer to the viewers who may or may not be going through similar scenarios and circumstances is quite good, it's quite well written, and I still think this could be an educational show for certain people of certain ages to watch. People who are pretty much in the age range that the main characters are, like 17, 16, also like previous seasons, it's quite hysterical at parts. There are some times where I audibly laughed out loud. Just some of these moments, some of these lines, good stuff. And no other show does painfully, excruciatingly awkward as well as this one does. Episode one, the projector. That's all I'm saying. That, as well as many other parts throughout season four, just had me cringing and just like, oh my god, please, no, don't, oh god, I can't watch. Basically, season four has pretty much what you've come to expect from this show. And in a way, there are times where the show feels like it's just kind of going through the motions. And in other instances, it feels a little bit repetitive, mainly with Otis, because he's working on his relationship with Maeve. And it feels like in every single episode, he says something or does something kind of stupid because of his inexperience or because of his own anxieties and doubts and he spends the entire episode stressing about it and by the end he apologises and they're on good terms again. Then in the very next episode he does the same thing again and he's all worrying and stressing about it and then he apologises at the end and they're on good terms. It just seemed a bit repetitive the way they did that in more or less every single episode. I don't know if that's how relationships are for newbies or anything. I have no idea. I've never been in one, but it just kind of stood out to me. Season four also runs into the problem that a lot of TV shows do around about season four or five, which is the canvas of characters has expanded quite a bit. Yeah, there's a lot of characters in season four. Season three had it a little bit, but in season four, there are a lot of people that they're trying to concentrate, give time to, and explore their lives, their stories, their issues. And sometimes it just kind of feels like some of the characters and their issues don't get enough development time and you don't really spend enough time with them to really get attached to them properly. So some of the character arcs and some of their emotional journeys do feel a little bit undercooked and underdeveloped. But I think the biggest disappointment of season four is that for me personally, it lacked a sense of finality. It's supposed to be the final season, but it doesn't really feel like the final season. When the show ended, I was like, wait, that's, that's the ending? Really? It just ends like any other season of sex education would have ended. I mean, there are some characters and the way they kind of come to the end of their journey is like, okay, that's, that's kind of like the ending of a series right there. But other characters are just kind of left in limbo a little bit. Like they're waiting for their storylines to be picked up in season five, but season five ain't coming. And that's a bummer because watching the first three seasons, there were a few characters that I'd grown quite attached to so I was quite looking forward to seeing what was going to happen to them in season four and getting to the end of season four and hoping for them to have some kind of emotional resolution to all their problems. But some of them just don't have that. And with that, sex education on Netflix has officially come to an end. And there is a part of me that's quite sad about that because all four seasons were enjoyable. Again, I liked season four. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was funny. It was awkward in all the right ways. Just disappointing as a final season. And the entire show as a whole, I did enjoy it because of those themes, the maturity of it, and how funny it was. But mainly the characters, most of the characters, like Otis, Maeve, Eric. Eric is the goal, by the way. Everybody deserves a friend like Eric in their lives. Good show, good characters, good themes, good heart. I just wish the climax was a little bit stronger. No pun intended. <laughs>